This video is sponsored in part by NordVPN. In about 25 minutes, I'm gonna be boarding onto a flight headed to Taipei, and I thought now would be the perfect time to share everything you need to know in your very first hour after landing at Taoyuan International in Taiwan. Right off the bat, fantastic news at the time of recording this video, Taiwan now has zero restrictions, so no vaccine requirements, no quarantine requirements, you are good to go. When it comes to your pre-departure checklist, number one is if you so choose to use a local SIM, of course, to make sure that your cell phone is indeed unlocked. Two, when it comes to power requirements, Taiwan uses type A and type B plugs. And so you may choose to pick up a power adapter. Editor Maurice here. Just note that depending on where you're staying in Taipei, especially in older hotels or Airbnbs, wall outlets might only be type A with two prongs, but no third grounding pin connection. Next up on the pre-departure checklist, especially if you're traveling for business like I am, is a VPN. And no, I'm not talking about watching region-locked Netflix like we all know about. I'm talking about actual critical important stuff. In the past month alone, I've both visited suppliers and served clients in Jakarta, vetted vendors here in Taipei, and anytime I've had to send or receive an international wire transfer, NordVPN has been the make or break when it comes to logging into my Canadian bank accounts. Using Nord to trick my bank servers into thinking I'm still at home in Toronto avoids any pesky login issues. If you're like me and work at coffee shops, unsecured public Wi-Fi networks are prone to man-in-the-middle attacks where your sensitive information can quite easily be intercepted. We always think this will happen to someone else, but we're all someone else to someone else. With Nord, all of your data sails down an encrypted tunnel to a secure external server, which means even if someone hijacks a cafe's public Wi-Fi network and sees your transmissions, all they'll actually see is a string of gibberish, thanks to the encryption. NordVPN has been kind enough to let me share a special offer just for you. Go to nordvpn.com slash Moves linked down in the description to get four extra months on their already tremendously affordable two-year plan. And hey, with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee, this VPN travel essential of mine is completely risk-free for you to test out for yourself. Thank you so much NordVPN for sponsoring this portion of the video. Third up, of course, is visa requirements, and I'm going to link the website, an official Taiwan website, down in the description that lists all of the visa-exempt countries. But again, before you head over, make sure to double-check that link down in the description. Last up on the pre-departure checklist is emergency cash. Me personally, I recommend you have two to three thousand new Taiwan dollars, which at today's exchange rate is about sixty-five to hundred U.S. dollars. Once you land, assuming your bank card is branded on the back with either the Plus or Sirius International ATM network logos, you can get cash almost anywhere. But that being said, for some reason, anywhere I go on Earth, there are indeed some ATMs that are branded with those international network logos that sometimes just glitch out, which means don't panic, you'll just have to walk a little bit to find one that works. It looks like I should start packing up to head over to boarding. Alright, we are mid-flight. The moment you step onto any flight that's bound for Taiwan, typically you'll be given one of these which is an arrival card, and you just got to fill it out. But one field that might be confusing, since there are so many countries that are visa exempt, is if you check the visa exempt checkbox, you might be confused as to what to put in the field for entry permit number or visa number. And if you are indeed from a visa exempt country, you could just leave that field blank. With the pre-departure checklist done, we can get to the steps after your flight touches down at TPE. Once you land and deplane, you'll of course follow the signs towards immigration. I am here inside Terminal 2 of Taoyuan International Airport, which is most likely where you'll be arriving. Before proceeding to immigration, you will filter through this line. Taiwan employs, to me, the most convenient two-stage customs process I've experienced so far in the world, which I love because it doesn't require you to spend so much time filling out those declaration forms. This line is stage one for x-raying your bag. And typically, like you, I hate lines, but I think this one is awesome because it's actually there to help you to avoid potential very expensive fines, which I'm gonna show you very soon. But for now, once you're through that, you'll pass by an infrared camera that detects your temperature, and right before immigration is a currency exchanger, a great place to snag that two to 3,000 new Taiwan dollars in emergency cash if you weren't able to get some before flying. No one is allowed to film or take pictures at the immigration desk, so I'm just gonna let you know that this is where you'll be presenting your passport, along with that arrival card I showed you on the airplane. Assuming all goes smoothly, it's down the escalators to the baggage carousels if you have any checked luggage. After that is stage two of customs, the convenient self-declaration customs threshold. As you can see, there's a red sign and a green sign. If you have nothing to declare, you walk under the green sign, and this is why I love that x-ray check earlier. If they found something, even if it's legal, but requires declaring, like say, if you have a large amount of cash, 
You'll know to walk under the red without risking way worse punishments, even if you didn't know. Because, like every border on Earth, pleading ignorance won't help your case. But once you cross and completely pass that customs threshold, you are officially on Taiwanese soil. And there are just three things to take care of. First is communication. As soon as you exit the sliding doors, make sure to go left, and you'll see two round kiosks. That further one is for your SIM card, and at the time of recording this video, offers these affordable prices, like 30 days of unlimited 4G data for 1,000 NT, the equivalent of 33 US dollars. And of course, even less if you are visiting for less than a month. Once you have your SIM card squared away, the next thing is to decide on transportation. Either a taxi, which I personally don't really recommend, but that's coming from me as a solo one-bag traveler. If you have a ton of luggage or are traveling with, say, a few kids, you'll probably want to consider taking a taxi. So if a taxi is what you want, heading to the right of the SIM card kiosk back to the center of the arrivals hall, you can either arrange through the taxi kiosk or just head out the sliding doors over here where you can cross the first road to the gigantic sign that says taxi and grab one direct from there. For the rest of you who, like me, wants to save a ton of money, the airport MRT is definitely the way to go. So let's rewind back to where you got your SIM card and instead of going right to the taxis, just past the kiosk you'll see the sign that says MRT and High Speed Rail. Make a U-turn and head down the ramp escalator where you'll immediately see the airport MRT entrance. You could get a single ticket, but that's for fools. Don't be a fool. Look, whether you take the MRT or the taxi into the city, you'll definitely want to get an easy card. This card will enable you to, of course, take the airport MRT, but once you're in the city, it also lets you take the incredible Taipei City MRT trains. It's what's used to get on and off the city buses, and all convenience stores and major chain restaurants and coffee shops all accept the Easy Card as payment. If you also get a Taiwanese SIM card, you can also register your Easy Card through the UBike 2.0 app, enabling you to use the plentiful bicycle sharing peppered generously all over the city as well. Depending on the ticketing agent's comfort with English, you may want to say the name of the Easy Card in Mandarin, which is Yoyoka, while handing over a 500 or 1000 NT note. Yoyoka? Where are you from? Canada. The card itself costs a non-refundable 100 NT, and so if you did what I did and handed over a 500 NT bill, you'll get the card with a 400 NT balance ready to use. The airport MRT into Taipei costs just 150 NT, about 5 US dollars instead of the 1 to 2 thousand for the taxi. Tap the card on the sensor, walk through the gate, head down to the platform and board. And I gotta say, one thing I love about Taiwan is just how clean and well-maintained all mass public transportation is. There's wireless Qi chargers for your phone, comfortable seats, and loads of racks if you do have large bags or rolling luggage. And oh, I almost forgot. When you get your Easy Card, you'll also get this receipt with these two QR codes on it. Do not throw this or any receipts that you'll get throughout your travels in Taiwan. Because every single one of them is a lottery ticket, drawn every two months with a grand prize between 2 and 10 million NT. Now, you probably won't be staying long enough, but me personally, I just clip all of my receipts together with a little clip, bring the stack back home with me to Toronto, and remember to check the winning numbers when they're released a few months later. If I ever hit the jackpot, I'll obviously be booking a flight right away. Anyways, the airport MRT takes about 45 minutes to plop you at Taipei Main Station, centrally located at the intersection of two of Taipei's MRT lines. And oh, I almost forgot, what you choose to carry with you every single day while you're traveling can really impact how much enjoyment you'll get from any trip. So you'll definitely want to watch this video right up here. And for my guide on one bag travel, this video down here is for you. I'll leave them on screen for a bit so you can choose which one to watch next. But while you're deciding, if you got value from this video, consider liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell so you'll be notified the moment new videos just like this one drop.